Let's show them the 3D printed one. One down. This is gonna work, I believe in it. Oh boy, what a long ride that was. Order up. Drum roll. What is up guys and welcome back to the vlog. Last week, we had a pretty busy week. We were only in the office for two days. We went to the trade show. We tried to talk Luke into letting us put a cam in my bagger and he said, ah, I'm too busy right now. Yeah. So it's still gonna be a little bit for that, but we do have something exciting for you guys today. Something that, Juan, how long do you think you've been working on this project? I would say like four or five months maybe. Still probably another one to two months until it's to market. And that's just kind of how long some of these things take. And that's one to two months hoping that this prototype sample that we pull out and try to install on a bike everything goes smooth we don't yeah. run into any errors and we want to put some miles on it road test it uh, make sure that we're comfortable with how everything performs so yeah could be longer hopefully one to two months uh, that's a little optimistic but <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing before we get into showing you what we have and what we're gonna install and what we're gonna install it on I want Juan to take us a little bit through the process of what it took to get us even here the part is made in the USA made right down the street designed in-house all using our own equipment. So we're gonna show you guys a little bit of that process before you guys, we show you guys what it is. So Juan, what's the first step? First step is a lot of nerdy stuff, but uh, 3D scanning, yep. getting all the measurements, whether it's taking it off the bike. Uh, this part, we actually got our hands on a separate, do we say what it is? Separate piece, yeah, separate part. Yeah, we got a separate piece. So you scan this part in. Scanned it in, brought it into SolidWorks, and then just went to town, like changing its shapes and adding features that made it better and all right. stronger. Cool. So. All right, so before we take you guys into this room, this is our R&D room. All of our designers and all of us work in here to come up with cool stuff. I can't roam this camera around and show you guys everything because there's some cool stuff that's not out yet that we've been working on for weeks, days, months, years. So give us a second. Juan's organizing his desk. Some of the other guys got some stuff. Right. You wanna tell them what we've been working on? This part is going to go with a part that we have already released years ago that uh, is great. A lot of you guys love it. This is gonna go even better with it, so all so, right. So a bagger part. So even though we can do the bagger cam install, we're still gonna do bagger stuff. And uh, yeah, so the part that we've been working on is a bagger lower tree. It's gonna work in conjunction with our current tree, but I don't know if we want to start with the scan data or do we want to show them stuff? Yeah, the scan data, data. scan data, kind of where it goes. This is my 3D scan. So just getting rid of all these planes, but these are all critical information there. So that's a scan of the stock lower tree and the stock one's made out of steel. It's really heavy. I scanned it with a 3D scanner and then I brought it in. You can kind of now see our part overlaid in it. So the darker gray right there is the stock part and then the lighter gray is the part that won. Just highlighted. So they're still like intertwined right now and I'm just gonna get rid of the stock one and reveal our part. And there it is. Bam. So one thing we're really stuck on the about this part, it's got triple pinch bolts. So that's freaking rad. It's got an increased clamping area. It's grabbing more of the fork tube, both sides. We did this cutaway, traditional to the thrash and styling with our logo and then um, of course go to this side one, showing the made in America with the American flag logo, which we're pretty stoked on. Before we show you guys in real life, now we're gonna show you one of the first renditions so this was even before it got to that. So this is a 3D part, if you want to explain. Right, of. so it doesn't have the cutouts yet. Um, this one was solid, or had the cutouts. I ended up putting a little fill if you compare it to the actual model. See, it's no longer through. It still has a pocket feature, which looks rad, but I have material here, ultimately increasing the strength of the part. So yeah, it doesn't have the cutouts, doesn't have the flag logo. So that part basically gives an opportunity for me and Juan to look at it and in real life with holding it, how's this thing gonna look when we machine it? And that was where we came back and we were like, okay, it looks good and all, but hey, let's, let's do the pockets here instead of having the logo on the flat surface. Um, which will make it just look a little sexier. And then when we did the pockets, it was like, okay, we lost strength there, but then we need to fill this in to be able to handle that. So that's kind of why different things change. This is plastic. And then just this morning, we got this. That's right. So hot off the press. <laughs> yep. Made in America and triple pinch bolts. So what is the stock one on? 
It just has dual. Dual pinch bolts. Yeah, and the clamping area here is much smaller. So ours is just a whole lot beefier, way more bitching. Cool, so we're gonna go throw this on the bike, see how it lines up. There's some pretty cool stuff that, that like, I mean, look at this machining. The stem on the bike is at a different angle than the forks. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but that's actually angled in there. And you can see all the ball end work and the machining to be able to do that. That's pretty cool. Juan's got a stem right here he's working on. Yeah, yeah so you can that. see when the tree is flat on the desk, how the stem is actually at a totally different angle. Yeah, so that's a, like you said, that's a pretty rad feature that was not easy to machine. Boy, Rye was able to figure it out, so we're stuck on that. So let's go take this down to the bike and let's pick out whose bagger this thing's going on. Let's uh, go figure it out. It's gonna go on mine for sure, brother. <laughs> we'll, we'll put the plastic one on yours and then yeah. we'll put the metal one on mine. Yeah, we'll put the plastic one on nothing. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What do you wanna do, one? All right. So my bike's been getting a lot of love. So I think, you know, we gotta, your bike took a couple of losses uh, oh, a couple of vlogs ago. Let's give it some, let's give it a little bit of uh, upgrades in this. All right, all right. We need to get the front fender, the front wheel, and the forks slid out. So that way we can basically get the, the lower tree out. So another thing that Juan warned me about is my rotors feel very bent and I wish that I had new ones to replace them right now. Would have been nice. <laughs> We're gonna be right there. We'll do it when we swap it back to a black one because you know I'm gonna go black on that thing. All right, brother. I'm gonna grab a quarter inch socket so I can just bang through this thing, dude. Do you have any charged batteries? Watch, starty loose. I cracked it loose. One out. Two out. Cracked it loose. One-handed, holding the camera. Thank you for holding the fender one. I got it, brother. All right, there you go. Just guide you. Make sure I don't scratch it. Let's run this thing fenderless, bro. All right, now it breaks off. Don't lose track of your hardware, bro. Look, putting it back. Here. Yeah, see, one was on the floor already. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. I don't know if these are first to spec. That was pretty loose. Was it? I like these because you could turn it this way and then just Yeah, Speedy Gonzalez. Hey, brother. New track name. That's right. If you ain't first, you last. What if you get second? You last, brother. <laughs> your first loser. How's my pads? How's my pads? Oh, they're fine. Okay, okay. hold they're on, fine. there's the sense. Uh, we use them all for the trade show. No. Production might have some. Just hang them behind the... Check those pads, maybe they're uneven or? Mm -hmm. It's not that say. bad, dude. A little baby yeah. Allen. Have you ever taken these off before? I'm gonna put a new tire on it if you want. Just nice little quarter ten. Is the other side One dog, how tight is that thing? Bro, Bro. he's got 120 pounds of... <laughs> All right, that's it. Oh, Mexican sausage over here. <laughs> um, what are you guys doing? We're putting the bottom tree. Oh. Have you seen it? The prototype? What, what do you think, homie? Busting out oh God, the metric set. You still wrench on your dirt bikes with those? Homie. Oh, you yeah, you twi- All right, let's get, all right, hold on. Let's what get it, the right tip. I think we got a metric yeah. in here, right? Yeah. Stressing me out. Woohoo! Uh, let's do that. There we go. Proper. All right, you hold the camera. Hold the camera. Right. Hold do the it camera. right. Don't freaking strip it. See? Right tool makes the right difference. Makes the job easy. Guess those dirt bike tools aren't working on the hard I mean, too good, right? I mean, dang, it was about to just bend this snap yeah. on wrench, dude. How do you feel about that one? I don't know, I feel like it should be coming out easy. Nice. Big boy. We have been making good progress, but we're already getting hungry and you know what that means. It's taco time, baby. We're gonna keep working on this for a little bit longer, but we are gonna hop on some bikes. So which bike do you think we should hop on? Should we hop on the ST, the DX, Dyna, FXR? Should Juan ride his race steed? What are we working on, you getting this off? Yeah, a lot harder. All right. This, um, we will not be using this for archery. Correct. Because we don't want to cover it up. Or the cowbells. Yeah, yeah, so I would do pinch bolts. I would take this off and I would just let the cowbells stay on. Very good, one down. Check how sick on the CBO, the black chrome. It does look no good. scratches on it. Added weight though, I think. The stock tree, because it's steel, there's rust. 
Second one off. Lower it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the top tree. We'll leave the risers on it, we'll set them back. We may take off the gauge, so that way we can loosen the stem nut and be able to drop the lower tree. All right, so we realized that the bars should come off to make it a lot easier with the cables. Go right. forward, go forward. I know, but I just wanna take uh, this out first. There we go, now we got other room. Oh. What? Oh, it's like Macy's. I knew it wouldn't be too tight because it's just the preload, the bearings, right? Yeah. All right. You probably want to hold it down there. I'll spin this. You make okay. sure that you got that. Yeah. It... Actually, yeah, we'll leave this here. As it starts to go down. Should have put it on the speedy, bro. How many threads are in there? You probably it's pulled out, long, dude. Larry. No, it's no, still good. It's massive. Look at the bolt over there. You yeah. can't see it. There it is. She came off. That's... And that's interesting, they ran the sensor in between. Or is it unplugged from up there? What the heck? Is it unplugged? It's seeing Chinese finger trap. It has to unplug from somewhere. Well, this metal thing comes off for sure. Right. And then it will fit. It's just like a cover. You could get that. Maybe cover? Juan wanted to cut the triple tree. And just, <laughs> <laughs> he, wanted to cut, he wanted to cut an opening right there so we could just get this out. Because as you can see, the ABS Speedo Stuff module goes through the tree. We were hoping that it would be able to just like slide out, but it doesn't. So we had to chase the wire up in the frame and... All right. So the plug's actually over here on this side. On the right side on of the bike. The, yeah, on the right side. It just goes through the frame. So you, you can snake it out. You have to fight it a little bit, but good news is we're not cutting this. Yeah, we're not cutting anything. Oh God. So we will be reusing this. One thing to note is that this is a 2020 CBO Road Glide, and I went over to Juan's 2022 Road Glide Standard. His uh, module goes from the wheel up, and it also does go through the fork. So uh, to our knowledge, I would imagine it's basically 14 to 2023 has the same sensor and setup. All right, we gotta go take this over to the vise and press it out, but I'm gonna get these cowbells off. All right. All right, so we removed the cowbells. Boop. We're not gonna be using these for the new tree again. The cowbells and this front eyebrow, chin spoiler thing. We do, we will use these because these hold the, uh, it's just a little plastic piece and the brake lines run through here. One's for the left and one's for the right. And then our tree has that feature. You see these threaded holes there to accept these two screws. But first we need to steal the stem and the bearings. Those bearings look Freaking dirty, bro. Need some fresh grease. Oh, bro. Yeah, they need some grease on them. How many miles this thing got? Oh, it's got like uh, 20,000. I think it's got 30,000. Here, I'll tell you right now. We unplugged the Speedo. I think it's got 30,000. It's not like a... Keep in mind, guys, it's got 30,000, but I've also been riding these bikes over here. So I've ridden it to Sturgis three times, up and down the coast, ridden it quite a bit. And then I've also put 30, 40,000 miles on the Dyna, 20, 30,000 miles on the FXR. We put miles on the STs. And that doesn't include the Harley corporate bikes that we've ridden when we've been sent around town. Oh, oh bro. what's uh, up? I'm bleeding blue, bro. Okay. Trust the process. Trust me, bro. Look at this getting Loctite all over the aluminum. I'm getting it all dirty. Brand new, fresh part. This thing's the, look at me. This is the prototype. This thing's only staying on this bike for as long as we need to for testing because I'm going to put a black one on that. So oh, I'm not too worried about this one. And I know this isn't the only time we'll be doing it to this bike. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. the downside of the shot bikes. Yeah. They, the risers, trees, everything's been on so many times. Then. Yeah. We've taken the trees and risers off of this bike more than a dozen times. <laughs> <laughs> it's been for sure like 40, 50 times. Is that okay? Mixing snap on with Sonic? No, that's big party throw. With that one. It that was like like that, huh? Yeah. That that was tweaked from the factory. See how Yeah. I mean even the screws on the screws look like it was a little a little ramrodded. Yeah. The bit they used was a little. <laughs> look at how that piece is just perfectly. Yeah. Just, they're building thousands and they never expect the owner to take it apart this far. Yeah, yeah that looks good. We're uh, trying to get work done, what's up? Guy's eating, so I have to jack some snacks. Still my food, he's still on my lunch. Yeah, you, bro. Bull walks out here, sees he's eating chips and goes, I need some of those Funyuns. And look at your fingers, bro. Anything for the Funyuns, eh? That's how hungry he's getting. He really wants tacos, I guess. Yeah. You got, you're, not, you're just trying to break the... Yeah, just trying to break the seal here. 
Okay, seal's broken. She bought them now, though. A bigger piece of aluminum around, around. What are you trying to do? If we have the round stock aluminum uh -huh. go here. Uh -huh. It's still this plane is angled. It's no different than if you, the problem we I'm can I'm about to just start going like this. <laughs> Gang. All right, so what's your plan of attack here, Juan? Well, we need to make some kind of tool to press on that. And uh, so we're gonna try to make it. I wanna press on the shoulder in there. This is angled. Yeah. But there's a, sh you know that shoulder that we have on our tree that's nice and has coloring? Yeah. yeah. That shoulder is perpendicular to the shaft. Yeah. That's a place where you could press on it. There's no way you're gonna get, there's not enough room. Yeah, there is. I mean, that's the only way they did it, 100%. I would not say there's plenty of room, dude. Yeah, but it's not like, it's under compression. That's the easiest form of stress. Yeah, you know what else is under compression? The Titan, when it went to the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. All right, so after a little bit more discussion, going back and forth, I think we realized if we just shim it with this, we're gonna make it work. <laughs> you use that and it's wet. <laughs> also, we're trying to figure out how it's gonna be able to be done at home. Somebody that maybe doesn't have the Harley tool. Um, we'll have an answer for you guys shortly. Let's see how this goes. Project, I'm gonna use these, the circle, cause that'll I'll allow it. it, alleviate it. That'll allow it to fall out. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna use these trusty shims that I have, which are uh, eighth inch. So you have eighth inch piece of metal lying around. You could see now. Now it's pretty level, dude. It's that should pretty be level. The trick. This is gonna work. I believe in it. Oh God! Cover your face. <laughs> it's working. Looks like it's Am still, I still hitting. hitting. Yeah. There you go. Pretty close, dude. I might hit the other side now. Let's see. Okay. All is right. this the uh, one? This is the one. I'm is this confident. The one? I'm confident. Guys, we were like hauling through this thing. We were 45 minutes, the whole front end was apart. And this thing has been another hour. Got it. There it is. Bingo. Are you gonna grist this thing? Yeah, up we definitely need to pack some fresh grease in that. So before we go any further and keep assembling, we are gonna give you guys an official weight. Scale of zero, thrash and top tree. Mind you, I put the plastic on there, so there's a little more weight. Two pounds, 15 and a half ounces. Okay. Sub three pounds. Yep. Stock Black one. Larry. Blows oh, the scale out. Max it out. Too brother. much weight, boys. I think that one's a five pound Look, scale. Ready? Yeah, that scale maxes out at five pounds. So now we're gonna go take this one over to a scale for heavier things. Zeroed out. Set this on there. Drum roll. What do you guys Hold think? 6.6 6 pounds. So our bottom tree is only, or is about half the weight or less than half the weight. What are you thinking about buying, dude? Look at you, what are you looking at? Oh, I can't afford that. Are you kidding what me? What are you looking at? Oh, the bro. new CVO ST. Wow. CVO Road Glide, do you have photos of that thing? Yeah. So we got a little it's carbon, got a carbon tail. front fairing. What's that little tail? It's got a like it's that. Oh, it's Look at carbon the front, front fender. fender, carbon tips on the exhaust. Okay, so what do we got going now? Gonna make a little spacer, gonna get the job done. We have more room, so it's easier to get this spacer dialed in. What's the spacer gonna do? It's gonna allow us to press on the tree the right way and uh, not mess anything up. Tool is ready. There's the spacer, clears that, and it allows wait, 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 you wait. to- Show me that again, I was, okay. Clears that. And what it's gonna do, it's press on this shoulder, which this shoulder and this are parallel. I keep accidentally not facing the camera where you guys should see, cause I'm so intrigued. I'm like, <laughs> like what, what are we doing here? All right, yeah, this shoulder in I, here. All I'm thinking about as we're, you're doing this is you're gonna be having to sell this on the website. Yeah, we can do that. Like, it's easy. People it that are gonna get this time. are gonna want this. It took me 20 minutes to make, but we I was at a solid. We could source better materials. Yeah. See, falls in there. All right, and let's get to work. Come on, enough storytelling. I packed it with some tons of grease. Okay. We're gonna turn this around. Do it. Like that. Hold on. I think they... this will work if you just press this down. I think it'll work. The, this is this is not touching anything. Oh right now. yeah, you're right. You're good right now. So we don't even need the spacer. <laughs> The spacer yeah. would have helped to take it off. We were ahead of ourselves Overthinking earlier. It. Overthinking, Overthinking it. Overthinking it. Tool's not even needed, bro. I don't want to do it because my hands are so greasy. Dude, you didn't even need that collar, bro. Did we not? Yeah, I yeah, think we could have done it. it with that. Okay, so the tricky part is taking it off, but yeah. I think putting it on, which we're not done yet, I could be speaking too soon, but I think this isn't going to be as hard as we were thinking. Uh, it was anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> You're hungry, so what? I can't think right. I needed a Snickers. <laughs> Yeah, so you don't need that. There it is, bottomed out, brother. Boom. 
All right, so you see that guys? The only tool that we actually needed other than the hydraulic shop press, eighth inch, eighth inch spacer to shim to it. take it off, put it on. You don't need it. Yeah, there you go. And there it is. All right, three pounds lighter. So remember that weight we got on my bike a couple of vlogs ago? Drop it three pounds. Minus three. Drop it three, hey, all right? It's gonna happen on my bike too, so <laughs> no worries. What do we got going, dude? I thought we were going I to lunch. I just wanna see. I can't get this far and not have an idea. Look at the bottom. <laughs> or actually, you could see one. Dang. What's up? So good. What's up? Hey. That looks really, it looks really good with like the two lights. And the two pockets. And then that two pockets. We'll show you guys after we go get some tacos. All right, I'm riding the Carbon ST, that's it. stairs to grab my helmet real quick but i wanted to show you guys what's dropping hopefully this week uh, if not a week later you guys got to see these shirts getting printed now they're at the shop professional rider closed course on the high vis orange and it is a pocket this is on a pocket tee black same shirt thrashing front left chest raymond is doing the photo shoot work to get it live on the site and i also have a pair of gloves that go with them that are going live and i'm gonna throw them on right now for the ride and you can check these things out all right let's go get tacos but i wanted to show you guys these gloves that are dropping the orange high vis long sleeve professional riders closed course and black short sleeve both pocket tees and these sweet gloves dropping i'm hoping this friday if not, maybe next Friday. But we're doing our thing. All right, let's get on the road, Juan. That was pretty high. I was like, is he gonna scrape Fendi on that thing or what? that was so we've taken you guys here before many vlogs back but uh, it's right behind the shop they're open during lunch great tacos and we're in the middle of this building need to get it done so we're gonna go back for another ride once we get this triple tree on so that we can do a little testing today before we go home three past our tacos please do a horchata, horchata? What yeah. you want? small medium, medium. Ah, uh, no, we don't. No. You got any queso? Can you just dial him in? Maybe like make him one custom? A little, yeah, see why not? Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. You just got to ask. A little yeah. tortilla, cheese, pastor. There you go. Tortilla. Just one of those. Three al pastor tacos and one of those. Two of those. Now it's, it's, right, it's making custom. These are going to be custom right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Adrian. All right, Adrian. My man. Thank you. All right, my boy's giving us behind the scenes. You guys are going to be mouthwatering by the end of this. Queso. The last of this man's pastor. That was all your pastor. That's perfect. Yeah. Yes, it's for the chips. Oh, nice. That's oil for chips. You wanna make the burrito? Nice. Thank you very much. I was back there the whole time. Dude, did you make these or what? Yeah, yeah. He's whipping up the molitas right now. Full custom made. He normally doesn't do I this. What's up? Why do you get more full? Did you see, I asked and he's like, no. And then you asked and he's like, all right, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if it's just because I'm starving, but I had a little piece of pastor and it was pretty good basically two o'clock we started working on the bike at about yeah 11 o'clock biggest hurdle was getting the stem out of the tree and then we wasted 20 minutes machining a part we didn't need yeah but i think the the it's gonna be a little bit easier check this guy out rolling yeah 
that out of the way. Gutierrez. Yeah, I had him put the hot salsa on yours already. I'm gonna run it back real quick. Juan's already eating. He wouldn't even wait to tell you guys it. So it's how I said, dude. You just ate half. It's half gone, one bite. That's good. I can go for more. <laughs> Cheers. I like how crispy these tortillas are. He was taking the grease that he makes the chips with and he was pouring it on the meat and the tortillas. I also like the salsa, it's like fire roasted. All right, what's up, homie? You've hammered yours down pretty fast. How's the molitas that they Bomb. normally don't make? Bomb, it's on the secret menu that only Lance gets. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it in the salsa. Look at that. Later. Later. Yeah, scoop it in. Oh, bad scoop, bro. That's it. <laughs> Back to the bike. <laughs> See, you're scratching the paint, bro. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> What do you got going, brother? Oh, bazooka Billy, huh? No, you were going like this. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> I go like little tactical over here. What's up, dude? You want to show him the tree? Cause I, I tricked him and I didn't let him see it until before tacos. So drum roll, dude, check that out. How sick is that? I'm just really digging how the shape and styling of the cutaways kind of follow these lines. Dang! Now this bike has top and bottom trees. Yeah. ST has top and bottom trees. Yeah. Urban bike top and bottom trees. You pretty proud of that? Yeah, that's freaking badass. And then, like we said, this thing's got that triple pinch bolt. Look how sick that is. All right, here goes nothing, huh? No, well, it's something. How's it feel? I mean, to me, that feels a little too tight because it's got, I could feel the bearings. I will have you guys know that imagine yourself holding a camera and trying to film you and a buddy yeah. work on a bike. Like, it's harder than you think. All right. Uh I don't think it needed much loosening. Smooth operation. All right. All right, let's put this thing through the middle. All right. Can just you zip like tie it to zip it? Zip tie it to something? Yeah, just zip, or just zip tie it to the wires. I mean, these brake lines back. All right, before we slide the forks on, can we lift the bike back up? Got the lines all done. This is all snapped together. ABS or Speedo, whatever that is. Left fork. Look at the old rust from the old steel one. Should we wipe it off? <laughs> Gonna take a little more than that, brother. Don't worry, we're gonna clean this up when we put the right color on this bike. Yeah. This is just for prototype. This thing will be off the bike within a week or two, probably. So again, this is another area where he's gonna tighten it. I'm one-handed holding the fork, so we're gonna try to get you guys the best shot. I think I'm gonna need more extender than this. No, oh, no, we got it. How does that look? It's fine. What torque spec do you think you're gonna run, 40? We'll do the stock. 30. We're gonna be testing it with 30 foot pounds, ladies and gentlemen. It's looking even better and better, dude. If we go black lower, I'd wanna almost go black sliders. Do they make this? Yeah. How's the height? Height. Check it with okay. this. Too low. Go up a little bit more. Right, less. Right there. Snug it up a little bit right, so it doesn't right. move that easy. Keep going. There you go, there you go. Now it's Raggedy. Dude, it looks so good though. So we brought the bike down. We have both forks on and lined up the height of the forks, dialed them in, and now on, what are you up to? Torquing these, the three pinch bolts to spec. What torque are you putting on them right now? I'm gonna go 25 to 30. We're doing it in like a pattern, right? I'm not tightening, because there's three of them. Yep. You don't want to hit one all the way to 30 and leave the other one loose. Yep. You want to go like little sequence, yep. you know? We're done, bro. 
bro. Got it dialed. Move these out the way. No more cowbells. The chrome risers kind of going down to the chrome fork sliders or the chrome fork tubes. Looks pretty dope. Got the new tree dialed in. I think it looks sick with the shape of the headlight and the shape of the cutouts. Opens up this whole section of the bike. Not to mention, we did save three pounds off the front end. POV looks sick. It's like all cleared out. Kind of reminds me more now of being on like the FXR or even the ST. Smaller bike. Just like it's opened up that front end quite a bit. Looks sick. Dang, that looks good. Right? I still haven't filled up my tire, my rear tire with more pressure after putting 10 pounds out from drag racing. Right, guys you got to spend the day with us six hours of our R&D process for this lower tree on the uh, road glide you're about two-thirds all the way through like Juan said he's already put a ton of work into this Juan and I got to go take it on the road feel it out put it on the bike yeah what were your thoughts on that one yeah I'm stoked on how it works and stoked on how it looks uh they're gonna make a couple of revisions keep moving forward and it's pretty sick I mean and I'm stoked you can still see it while it's on the bike that was one of the things I was concerned about because I yep. didn't want to hide it feels bitching I mean I rode the bike a little bit you rode it feels good so be on the lookout guys please be patient as well sometimes this takes longer than expected right we've got to machine them it takes some process we also make the foam and the box that holds it and then it goes to the finishing whether it's chrome or anodized black and sometimes they can be delayed a little bit longer than we'd hope uh you know sometimes that process alone just anodizing can take two to three weeks if yeah. they're backed up be patient but we are dropping these soon hopefully spring 2024 would be the goal these things are gonna freaking rule they lighten up the front of the bike visually not only do they actually lighten the bike up by weight but visually it just it just seems more lightened up clean gonna look good again this is just raw on this bike i'd probably run a black one both of these bikes have trees that we worked on yeah full sets, full sets. Top and both of them will be available this spring it's taken us about a year in terms of both because these we started last year about this time. These have gone through a lot of testing as well. Look at that, boom, boom. Two locations to mount your risers, two locations to mount your risers, triple pinch bolt. These both have dual pinch bolt. Designed by us, made here in America and uh, rider proven. We hope you guys enjoyed this soon. The cam will be going in this bike. Oh, Trust me, God. I know that's gonna be everybody's question on the vlogs. It's gonna happen soon. We're just waiting for all the stars to align to get everybody uh, scheduled to work out. So thank you guys so much for following along. We hope you enjoyed it. Get a little uh, behind the scenes and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. See you later. Spin that bar for me, dude. Spin that for me. Do what? Spin that a little bit. Show me a little bit more. Look at that. Freaking sick. <laughs>